Hello everyone. Uh, in this demo, I will show you changes on Amun. Uh, that is our service for for inspecting workload in, in the cluster. So uh, you already know, Amun is living in Alberto Station organization in Amun API repo, and uh, this service basically takes some input that states uh, what is a base image. Uh, what uh, RPM packages uh, should be installed, what Python uh, packages should be installed, hardware requirements that are uh, needed to run your application and also build your application, and then some script, for example, a Python script that is executed in order to gather some uh, info. So we use uh, this service for aggregating uh, performance indicators, uh, for example. So in this demo, I will show you changes that we've done uh, in the service. Uh, I've already prepared a small uh, payload that is sent to the service that is deployed in, uh, in one of our environments. So I use sy.ubi8 uh, Python image, and I provided some very simple uh, requirements. So just go say, uh, just to uh, be very quick with the demo. I also provided uh, requests for, for CPU and uh, uh, for memory when it comes to building the application and running the application. Uh, one of the changes was a change in batch size. So previously we ran an OpenShift job, but now uh, as I will schedule uh, this, uh, we should see uh, an Argo workflow uh, that is running in our in our uh, namespace. But when I click on it, uh, once the uh, image stream is created and the build is triggered, uh, there will be spawned three, as our batch size is three, uh, three runs of uh, inspections. And that's one of the changes uh, that were done. Uh, previously, we ran, we ran an, open, an OpenShift job, but it created issues when it comes to maintainability, but also uh, aggregating results of, uh, of these inspection runs. So right now, uh, each inspection run delivers output that is uh, captured output uh, that is produced to uh, pot standard uh, output and standard error. Uh, but we also deliver separately results of these inspection runs, and uh, this result is adjacent that is uh, then subsequently uh, aggregated to our uh, set. Uh, this split uh, allowed us to uh, run uh, scripts or, or libraries that produce some uh, messages to standard error or standard uh, output. And uh, previously, they uh, they created some noise in uh, in the output as we uh, outputted the results to to the uh, pod or container output. Um, so uh, that that's one one difference. So as you can see, there are uh, three jobs run, and another difference is that we are aggregating uh, outputs of uh, builds. We are aggregating uh, them when uh, build fails, but also when build succeeds. So we can uh, create or uh, accumulate knowledge uh, which packages uh, break uh, some build or uh, produce uh, some error during application assembling. Uh, if I take a look at uh, how these, uh, these data are aggregated, so I will take inspection ID. And um, I will go into uh, Steph, where uh, these inspections are, or results of, of inspections are aggregated. As you can see, uh, as jobs are still running, uh, we have uh, results of, of build. So uh, let's take a look at what's aggregated. So here you can see Docker file that was uh, automatically generated based on the JSON that was sent to the Amon service. Uh, then uh, there is also aggregated log as mentioned earlier, and there is also aggregated uh, specification that was the input to, to the service. Once uh, jobs finish, we should be able to 
results of, of these jobs. Look at it. So here you can see results. And if I check that, you should see three uh, separate uh, prefixes. And let's have a look at the first one. So here we have aggregated information about hardware on which the first job ran. Uh, we have also information uh, about the actual result. Uh, that is the output of uh, performance uh, indicator, um, or uh, in, in this case, our, our script. So I can take a look at it and print it to my console. Uh, as you can see, it's a JSON uh, that has some standard output. Uh, this is encoded code that says hello Todd, but it's not uh, that clear. Uh, but it captures all the information about the node, uh, so CPU flex, uh, uh, information about uh, family, so CPU family, uh, all the features that uh, CPU supports. And at the end, you, we have also information about uh, uh, or about the process that is run from from the kernel. Um, as uh, meantime, as I was describing this, there was run uh, job block aggregation, and uh, this task in Argo workflow is responsible for aggregating logs of jobs. Again, uh, we aggregate them when uh, the job fails. Uh, but also when it succeeds. So uh, we can uh, take, a, take a look at it. And uh, here uh, you will see a log of uh, bot, but I think uh, as of now it's, it's the JSON uh, that is also the result. Uh, but previously uh, this JSON was not valid uh, from time to time if, if uh, libraries produced some, some warnings or info messages uh, like TensorFlow on, on uh, startup uh, produced some warning messages uh, about instruction set and, and stuff like that. So these are inspections. As you can see, uh, it's all written in uh, Argo. So it gives us power of Argo and fully utilize Argo workflows. Uh, we can schedule jobs in parallel. Uh, that's also uh, one uh, disadvantage as of now because Argo has one uh, bug. And then when I tried to uh, schedule multiple jobs, uh, the inspection failed or was halted. Uh, it was not, uh, not handled properly as in uh, inspection uh, or as in uh, on the workflow template. And that's when uh, the workflow uh, exceeds uh, quota allocated in the namespace. This is something that uh, we will report shortly to uh, Argo community. Uh, one, of, uh, one of the benefits to fully utilize Argo is also um, build uh, or block aggregation, as, as uh, stated before. But what I wanted to pinpoint here is that these uh, logs are aggregated uh, after uh, some Argo tasks finish. So we don't uh, need to wait for, for the workflow. And uh, we observed previously with previous implementation issues when it comes to uh, how long these logs are, uh, are captured or kept in, in, uh, in the OpenShift cluster. So right now we don't lose logs or results uh, because of uh, OpenShift's or Kubernetes uh, pot, uh, clean, uh, pot log cleaning. Uh, all of these uh, results can be obtained using, uh, uh, using uh, Python uh, adapters. So we have a programmatic way how to access uh, this data and our data scientists can, can uh, use this data to uh, come up with some uh, information that we will subsequently sync into our knowledge base. So that's from me, and thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. No question but comment. If we circle back to what uh, Bizen Bay uh, talked about, he's basically testing uh, 
that thing that you just showed from the back end on, on the front end side. So Bison Base uh, um, feature, uh, the behave feature that he's using to test all that stuff basically resembles what you have just shown in the back end. It wants to run an inspection, it wants to figure out that all these log files get assembled and so on and so forth. So uh, both work uh, basically hand in hand. Rido showed the implementation using Argo workflow and Bison Bay is working on the testing part uh, of these workflows. Cool, thanks. Other questions, other comments? Good, I'm gonna hit the record button again so it stops. <laughs>